down here with Noah Gregson. Top 10 finish in your official debut with Stuart Haas Racing. What are the emotions right now knowing that you just came back and, and beat 31 other cars? Yeah, obviously a lot more, but I, I thought uh, the Stuart Haas Racing teammates worked really well all day. The Dark Horse Mustang was it seemed pretty quick. So um, congratulations to William and, and Mr. Hendrick and Rudy and the rest of their group. Uh, I'm, I'm buddies with William, so happy for him. Uh, but overall, just incredibly thankful for the opportunity to get back out here. Like I said, you always want more, but it could be a heck of a lot worse. So uh, it's great to see all the fans. I know the race got pushed back to Monday. wasn't sure how many uh, people are going to be out here at the racetrack. The whole place is packed. The grandstands were, I didn't see an empty seat in the, the infield before the start of the race was, was packed. So many people. So it was uh, a great weekend overall. Had a little bit of rain, but uh, just incredibly proud of the Ranger boat, True Timber, Black Rifle Coffee, Winchester team at Stuart Haas, these, these tank group of oh, guys. They did a great job. We had to go to a backup car after the dual race and then uh, start in the back and, and came home with the top 10. So incredibly thankful. Great to see all the fans backing at it. And uh, like I said, it could be a lot worse. We got some points to head into Atlanta. And uh, once we get going into the season, it seems like having some points for the algorithm that set you up for your, your practice and qualifying groups are pretty important. So um, just incredibly thankful, glad to be back and we're ready for some more. Aside from the early crash uh, in, on lap six, the racing seemed pretty pretty tame until all hell seemingly broke loose in the last 10 laps. What was what was your vantage point for everything that, that happened? Well, you're just saving fuel the whole time. I mean, uh, everyone's probably asking, we have data and we can see how much throttle position the, the leaders are running. It's, it's a fuel mileage game, uh, but there's guys who are really good at it still and guys who aren't, but uh, from the get-go, you're just saving fuel, running half throttle and, and staying with the pack. It's it's really hard to go anywhere, so uh, you're just you're just waiting until that green flag pit stop and then it gets a little uh, disorganized and, and you group back up and you kind of shuffle in. But um, from the start of a stage till your green flag pit stop, it's, it's relatively tame. You're just saving as much fuel to make your pit stop having more fuel in your tank rather than burning it all off so your pit stop can be faster when you do your green flag pit stop. So um, our pit crew did a great job. We're adjusting things for working on our communication. Thank you to Andy Houston, Drew, and the rest of these uh, Ranger Boat guys. They, it's a lot of fun to work with and, and a privilege, but yeah, once you get to the end, that's when you start us going three wide. You see everybody beating and banging. Um, pretty hard to pass. See any track position there at the end, but overall stayed out of trouble for the most part and uh, wound out with a top 10. Last question before I let you go. It's no secret that Stuart Haas has been seemingly behind the eight ball a little bit the past few years. What does a run like this give, do for the confidence of not just yourself coming back to the seat, uh, but also the team uh, as far as uh, getting a boost into the, into yeah, the season? I think, I think the points are great. I think uh, coming home with the car, not destroyed. I mean, unfortunately we're in a backup car because our primary got wrecked, but um, the, the, the car in the Daytona 500 didn't get too wrecked up. Um, too bad. So we stay clean all night. We're continuing to build confidence, build our communication. It, it, it's going to take time. First year with these group of guys, learning the crew chief and the driver lingo, uh, learning spotter. It takes a little bit of time, but it, it's no excuse. It's just, just part of it. So we're going to continue to work as hard as we can. And it's a privilege to be out here, and, and we know that. And we want to keep on keeping our head down and, and moving forward, being better than we were last week. And, constantly improving and learning so we have a great group we're all super tight together and uh, this adds a lot of confidence to our team uh, as you go into Atlanta. Awesome thanks so much Noah. Welcome to Race Face Digital where you can buy sell collect and trade digital mp4 racing cards of your favorite drivers. Receive a free five card fan pack when you enroll for free at racefacedigital.com the ultimate entertainment platform. What up it's Brad Perez uh, click subscribe and watch one of the two videos right beside me. Visit frontstretch.com for more racing content.